Hi, WMP families. Today we want to give you some tips on how to create a positive learning environment at your home. So at WNP, our teachers recognize that all students learn differently. And this is something that we need to do as parents as well. So when we're helping our child with their assignment, we want to remember that their learning style is not necessarily the same as our own learning style. And even if you have more than one child at home, their learning styles aren't going to be the same. And so we know that this can create a challenge for you. And so we want to give you some tips and some strategies that you can put into place so that your child can be successful in their own learning style. So we're going to focus on two things today. We are going to give you some tips on how to keep your child engaged and focused as they're working on their assignment. And we're also going to give you some tips on how to keep them motivated. And the first thing we're going to talk about is setting a designated learning area in your home, um, whether it be the kitchen table or the couch, but being consistent in the place that your child completes their assignment. That way they are um, able to um, get into the right learning mindset when they go to this place. And it also sets an expectation um, for them. And also, if your child is easily distracted, just thinking of those things that we can control to limit those distractions, such as the TV, making sure the TV is turned off as they are working. Um, at WNP, we have lots of classrooms that provide flexible seating. Um, they're um, really neat to see, but they really do serve a purpose to our students and meeting their different learning styles. And so this is something that you can even do at home. It doesn't mean that you need to go out and buy anything, but just simply allowing your child to stand up as they work. Um, if they're getting up on their knees on a chair, um, or they may sometimes lay on their belly um, to work. All of this is okay as long as they're able to stay focused and keep learning. So just be flexible in um, how your child is working and keeping in mind that um, if they're bouncing and moving a lot, um, to us sometimes that looks like they aren't always learning, but that's not necessarily always the case. So just have an open mind with those things. And if your child is really having a hard time staying focused and they're easily distracted or maybe steering off a lot and you're finding yourself ha having to redirect them back to the assignment quite a bit, um, setting a timer is another strategy that you could use simply by using um, the timer on your cell phone. Um, one way you can do this is maybe set the timer for five minutes and say, okay, we're going to stay focused for five minutes. And if you do a good job with that, then you're going to get a two minute break. Um, and then you can alternate between the work time and the break time. As your child gets better with the um, amount of time that you have set for them, you can um, increase this time. So, you know, we always want to keep that setting that expectation higher. So this cut leads to our, um, our next tip is giving your child lots of breaks. So if you're finding through the assignment that they're becoming frustrated a lot, then more than likely they're needing some more breaks and that's okay. So again, using your timer for this would be a great way to implement this strategy. And the breaks can, don't have to be long. They can be a short, quick two to three minute breaks. Um, um, and then that way they're not getting too far off task and we can redirect them back to the assignment quickly. So now we're going to share some ideas on how to keep your child motivated. And I think the best way to do this is by always starting the day with having your child read their mission statement. This was something that we did in a Leader in Me lesson um, in the Google Classroom assignment last week. Um, in the beginning of the year, each teacher created a class mission statement. And so I just encourage your child to think about that class mission statement and to kind of create, recreate their own mission statement 
so that they could um, have it every day to remind them of how to be a leader and what habits they need to use in order to help them be the best leader at home and also the best learner at home. So if they haven't done this, I really encourage you to sit with your child and create this mission statement because this will really help keep them motivated and help them start the day off right. This is one of my favorite strategies to use with um, in the classroom or even, even at home. And um, this is po just using positive reinforcement. And this is simply just telling your child all the time all the good things that you see them doing with positive statements that could start with um, thank you for, so you may say, thank you for coming to the table right away when I asked you so that we could get started with your assignment quickly. Or I like the way that you really um, persevered through that problem, even though I could tell it was really hard for you. Um, so just rethinking of how we say things. And um, I know sometimes it's often to have statements of that may be more led with a negative, like, please stop doing this or don't do this. Um, rethinking those statements of how we can say it in a positive way. Negative statements are going to lead to negative behaviors. Positive statements are going to lead to po more positive behaviors. And one thing I have found, there's something that all children want to do. They, they really do want to please you. They really do want to make you happy. And so when they see that you are happy, they're going to continue those behaviors that led to your happiness. So um, just rethinking how we state things to them through the assignment or even throughout the entire day with them. And if needed, um, another strategy we use in the classroom is behavior charts. And this is where you can really target certain behaviors that you're wanting. So if your child is really struggling with staying focused, then maybe we would create a behavior chart just about that. And so just simply putting their name, putting some smiley faces, let's say that they completed the first five minute um, interval with um, success and you would just put a smile there. Let's say they do another five minutes, put another smile, and then maybe over time if they get certain smiles, they'll receive an award for that. It doesn't mean that you have to go buy anything for your your child, simply by maybe um, adding some extra screen time, if um, maybe an extra five minutes of screen time, or maybe taking away a chore. They don't have to do a chore that week. Um, just things like that to help keep them motivated. And the last thing that I want to remind you, um, and this is this is for you parents, is to have some, some grace for yourself. This is all new. Um, this is new for all of us. So we're going to have some good days. We're going to have some bad days. We're going to have some really bad days. Um, I'm hoping these tips will help you have more good days than you are having bad days. But through those bad days, remember to have some grace. Um, when, when we have moments of frustration, which is going to happen, we have to expect it to happen and we have to recognize it. And sometimes we just have to walk away from the situation. Um, whatever feelings we're having, um, we're going to project onto our child and they're going to have the same feeling. So if we're frustrated, they're going to be frustrated. Um, so just walking away from situations when we can. And I think also reflecting is a big part of this. Um, trying to recognize what what is um, setting if if we're having unwanted behaviors what's what's causing those behaviors and reflecting on it and then putting some strategies in place but you're all doing a great job you're doing your best and that's what matters um, I just have to share this quote with you I think it just is fits so perfect and I want you to remember this when when you do become frustrated it says growth is uncomfortable because you've never been here before. You've never been this version of you, so give yourself a little grace and breathe through it. So families, we need to do this one day at a time, and um, we'll get through it and, and just keep a positive mindset. And lastly, just don't forget that we are here for you. Um, your teachers know your, you know, they know your child too, not as well as you know them, but um, they they know some strategies that they have been using in the classroom. So always reaching out to them if if you're having 
some um, behaviors that you're not quite sure how to address, um, it could be possible that they were seeing the same behaviors in the classroom. So reach out to them and so that we can work together and, and support you through that. Um, also, you know, Mr. Shepard and myself, we are here for you. If you have specific situations in which you don't know how to address them, please let us know and, and we want to help. So um, I hope you found some helpful tips in here and just remember to stay positive and take it one day at a time.